are uh, watching uh, advanced level chemistry with Mother Sirmay Guru. Today we are going to discuss one of the most important topic uh, related to the chemical uh, equilibrium, and that topic is Lee Chatier principle. Lee Chatier principle. So uh, first of all, uh, I want to do. So, uh, what is the uh, chart layer principle? So, according to this principle, according to this principle, according, according to this principle, according to this principle, Yes, when according to this principle, when a system, when a system, uh, when a system at equilibrium, when a system and that system is in equilibrium, at equilibrium is disturbed. Now, now, when 
we want to disturb it. When, when this system is subjected to a change, when, when we bring change in this system, what will this system do? The most important thing, how we can bring a change in this system? We can bring a change in this system uh, in, a, in a three ways. I, I will only describe three ways how we can change this system. I will describe only three ways. The first thing, the first change that I should bring in this system that is its concentration. By increasing the concentration of the reactant as a product, I may change this. Equilibrium. I can also change this equilibrium. I can also bring a change in this equilibrium by by doing what by increasing or decreasing pressure. By increasing pressure. And the third thing that I will bring a change in this system and that is the temperature by increasing or decreasing. Okay, so these are the three ways by which we can bring a change in the system. We can, we can disturb the system. So according to, to the Lee Chatea principle, when we disturb a system, and if that system is in equilibrium, then what will happen? Then, then the system will act up in such a way to come to the balance that to come to the balance that change so first now I will increase the concentration of nitrogen gas then I will increase the concentration of the hydrogen gas and then I will increase the the concentration of the ammonia and you will see that what is going on. Okay? Okay, so when, when, when I add to this system, this system ko abdo hena man first, first, that is by changing the concentration, number one, concentration changes. जब मैं कंसंट्रेशन में चेंज लाऊंगा इस सिस्टम के तो ये सिस्टम डिस्टर्ब होगा सो फर्स्ट व्हेन आई जब मैं नाइट्रोजन की कंसंट्रेशन इंक्रीज करूंगा इंक्रीज इन द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ द नाइट्रोजन सो व्हाट विल हैपन टू दिस सिस्टम जब मैं नाइट्रोजन की कंसंट्रेशन इंक्रीज करूंगा व्हेन आई इंक्रीज द the concentration of the ammonia. So what will happen? Do you know what will happen? Tell me Shabash if if anybody have an answer please. What will happen to the system when I will increase the the nitrogen gas concentration? Definitely now the system will act in such a way to the system will act in such a way to, to decrease that nitrogen gas. So, how that will be decreased? So, the system will move in the forward direction and the synthesis of ammonia will be increased. The uh, formation of ammonia will increase. So, that is, that is, we can say that by increasing, by, by increasing the concentration of by increasing the concentration of nitrogen gas, the system will move in the forward direction. So, so I, I can write that uh, that when the, the concentration concentration of N2 of N2 gas increases or uh, when we increase 
the concentration of the clean fluid. So what will happen? The system, the system will move. the forward direction. Okay? Now we will increase the concentration of the When we increase the concentration of the hydrogen gas, what will happen to the system? The system will act in such a way to decrease that concentration. So, when will when will be the concentration of the hydrogen decreases when the system moves in the forward direction? So, by increasing the concentration of the hydrogen gas, so the system will also move in the forward direction. Okay? The equilibrium is disturbed. So, to obtain, to regain again the equilibrium, so the system will move in the forward direction. Now, when I increase the, the concentration of ammonia, when, when I am increasing the concentration of ammonia, so what will happen? The system will go where? Yes, the system will move in the backward direction in order to, in order to counterbalance that change. In order to Decrease the concentration of the ammonia. Okay, so that is so that is that is the effect of the change in the concentration on the equilibrium constant or on equilibrium or or on a system which is at equilibrium. So that's how concentration will affect it. Okay. Now Now, now look at, now when we increase the, the pressure to, pressure, pressure is spelling, say, so, when we disturb this system, this is a system and this system is an equilibrium. And when we increase, when we increase pressure on this system, agar this system par, jab hum pressure increase karenge to, when we increase pressure on this system, so what will be the consequences? What will be the consequences when we increase the pressure on this system? So the consequences will be the system will act the system will act in such a way in such a way to, to, to minimize that pressure to minimize that pressure so when we increase pressure on this system a system when we increase pressure on this system so this system will move in what direction? This system will move in power. the power. power direction. Why? Why this system will move in the power direction when we increase the pressure? Because when you increase the pressure, its effect will be when we increase the pressure. So effect kya hoga iska, iska effect ye hoga ke ye it bring a decrease in the volume. When we increase pressure what will happen? It decrease the volume. 
so there are there are how many moles of nitrogen gas are there how many moles of nitrogen gas are there one mole so one value how many moles of hydrogen gas are there there are three so three volumes how many moles of ammonia are there two so two volumes on the reactant side there are four volumes and on the product side there are two volumes so the system will automatically move towards that side to 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 do what to decrease the volume to decrease the volume so by increasing pressure on this system automatically the system will move in the forward direction so as to so as to minimize that change to minimize to minimize the effect of the pressure okay so that is that is the reason this this uh, reaction take place at a this reaction takes place efficiently on high pressure when we in at high pressure the yield of ammonia is increased so that is the reason that this reaction is this reaction is carried out at high pressure so when the pressure is high so the system will move in the forward direction why in the forward direction because and uh, in in the forward direction there there is occur a decrease in its volume so and that is the consequences of the increased pressure okay so another effect another effect and last effect just two minutes just give me two minutes and just wind up like the winding of this uh, this lecture okay so now 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 uh, this is the <coughs> okay now third we can also change uh, we can also disturb uh, this equilibrium this system and equilibrium by by changing the temperature by changing the temperature you know you know uh there are two kinds of reactions one is known as exothermic reaction and the other ones are called endothermic reaction so एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन एंड एंडो कोई बता सकता है एनीबॉडी के टेंपरेचर के टेंपरेचर किस रिएक्शन में पैदा होता है किस रिएक्शन में टेंपरेचर यानी हीट पैदा होता है और किस रिएक्शन में हीट यूज होता है टेल मी टेल मी दैट reaction in which the heat is used and tell me that reaction in which the heat is evolved in exothermic reaction what happened the heat is produces exothermic reaction happen and the heat is evolved and in the endothermic reaction the heat is used endothermic the heat is gained in the system so you know this reaction is endothermic in the forward direction this reaction is this reaction is endothermic in the forward direction this reaction is endothermic means the formation of ammonia is an exothermic process what does it mean it means that when ammonia is formed the heat will be released 
keep in mind keep in mind that that this is the del h so del h will be minus in the forward direction because he he is evolving from the system so increase jab aap temperature increase karenge when we increase the temperature what will happen to the system when we increase the temperature when we increase t so the what the system will do the system will do to to decrease the temperature we have increased the temperature now the system will act in such a way to to counteract that change so the system will will adapt itself the system will counterbalance this this increase in the temperature so what will happen when we increase the temperature so the system so the system will start using temperature and the uh, this reaction will move in the in the backward direction this did not in the forward direction this reaction will move in the backward direction because in the backward direction it is used i have told you this reaction is exothermic in the forward direction and endothermic in the backward direction so as endothermic in the backward direction you are increasing the temperature so the system will move in move in to the back okay when we increase the temperature the system will move the system will move the system will move in the in the backward direction why in the backward direction because in the backward direction the heat that we have increased that is used and the system will again acquire what equilibrium okay and when we and when we when we decrease the temperature jab hum the temperature decrease karenge to kya hoga the system will act the system will move in the forward direction to to produce heat because we have decreased the heat so now the system will produce heat so the system will move in the forward direction, forward direction. Thank you very much, Mr. Your name, Walid. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Walid. Uh, thank you very much. Thank, thank you to all of you thank for you, listening, for watching, and do not, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.